Hey, how's it going guys? For today's video, we are doing an Andrew McCutcheon debut. Now, I have been using him for now eight games and you can take a look at the stats for yourself. Batting 424, slugging 1.182. And of course, yes, this is all on legend. When looking at this card, his stats don't necessarily jump right off the page at you, but I'll be honest, he plays well above his stats with 99 contact versus right, 114 contact versus left, 83 pop versus right, 95 power versus left. With the 92 vision, his PCI size is going to be relatively big, especially against the lefties. And he's got 84 fielding with 74 arm strength. Obviously, his fielding could be better. And especially when he's in left field, he plays as a silver fielder. He drops down to a 78, I believe. And he's got 88 speed. So he's a good either leadoff or guy hitting in your two hole. And for this video, we're going to be having him hitting second right behind Tony Gwen. Something important to note because I did miss it. He has four doubles, seven home runs, and 11 ribbies. And like I already said, 424 batting average, 457 on base with a 1.182 slugging. So far, I've absolutely loved this card, and hopefully we get to display what we've already been doing. So for our lineup today, we got Tony Gwynn, Andrew McCutcheon, Frank Thomas, Willie Mays, Jeremy, Roberto Alomar, Rogers Hornsby, and of course, Pudge. While we're searching for a game, I've heard a lot of good things about Cal Ripken Jr. at shortstop. Honestly, especially from top players, they've had nothing but really good things to say about him. So look for a debut video for him in the future. And of course, what that means for Ron Jeremy is he will be our catcher. So our opponent for today is Where's My PCI? He's got Cy Young on the mound. He's got, of course, a God Squad. This is, he's at least over 1,000, or is it 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 rating because I did leave the bar there. So he should be a good opponent. So for this game, we are the away team. He's sporting a record of 178.65. It should be a good game. Like I said, he is using Cy Young. So what that means for us is we're going to see a lot of curveballs because I think he even has a screwball, if I'm not mistaken. As we drive that one into the gap, that should be an easy double for Tony Gwynn. Maybe a triple, depending on how Willie Mays plays this off the wall. We're going to go ahead and hold him up at two. One, one, the count to McCutcheon. Of course, I don't like this card just because he's got the MC in front of his name, just like me. And he's going to shoot that one into the gap as well for another double. I'm telling you, this card is absolutely disgusting. I love his swing, and he does so well. Frank! Oh, my God. Well, I don't even think we're going to move him over on that. That was hit oddly weak for being all over it. Good, good. 91 off the bat. Jesus Christ. Okay. O to the count to Willie. I feel like a screwball or something of that nature. It ends up being a four seam, and we tattoo it again. If that fly ball that Frank hit was a little bit deeper like that one, we would have had ourselves a sack fly. But with two down, we now have a man on third. Let's at least get this one extra run in. Three to the count to Ronnie. Will we get something to hit? We do. And well, you know what? We're a little bit out in front. So we end up only getting one run this inning. But it did come from Andrew McCutcheon on back-to-back -back doubles from, again, McCutcheon and Tony Gwen. Second pitch, he was a little late on that fastball the first time. We're going to go ahead and repeat it. He definitely seems to be slamming his PCI around. So I'm going to go ahead and guess as long as we stay away from the corners. Should be a pretty easy game. Right, we're going to throw a perfectly dotted slider, and we get him to roll over. Ron, you better show off the cannon. You came up slow. Thank God we beat him by a hair. Two down. That play to Ron Jeremy was absolutely nonchalant, and that got scary because I totally thought that he was going to be safe because he just he came up so slow. Thank God he's got an absolute gun. Maybe that's why we should go Cal Ripken as he gets a base hit to the left side. That's a good piece of hitting. All right, we haven't thrown the Ephus pitch yet, so we'll see how he reacts to it. Definitely out in front. We're going to go ahead and meet it back up with that fastball upstairs, and that ends up over the plate. Odds are that is going to score one run because that is 87 speed, so unless we get an amazing relay and we don't, that's going to be one run. 3-1 the count. We're going to go ahead and throw that Ephus pitch. He's out in front for routine ground ball, Frank. There we go. We're out of the inning. Let's go get some more runs. Aloe Vera shoots one through the right side. We're going to get ourselves a leadoff man on again. We got ourselves a good jump. We're taking all the way. That's going to be easily stolen. It's basically like another leadoff double. Horns ball. Man, we are... We are on all these pitches, but so far, no real big reward yet. That is one down. Pucci gets into that one, and again, we find ourselves squaring it up for a loud out. Number two, going to move him over to third, and with our pitcher up, it's not like it's doing a whole lot. One, two, the count to Grinky. He can swing it a little bit, so he's not completely out of the realm of not getting a hit. And he does just that. He burns the shortstop. We get it over his head. So we end up getting that much-needed single and the much-needed RBI. 2-2 the count to Tony Gwen. He's thrown some good pitches, some good dots. 
Hopefully he makes a mistake, and he does, but it is Tony Gwynn. So it is, you know what, we're actually probably a little underneath it. But again, we get ourselves a one run lead. Let's see if we can maintain it. I don't necessarily remember how last inning went. I don't remember exactly what pitches he was on or looking for. And it might have been the fastball considering he almost took that one deep. But thankfully, that is one down. 2-1 the count to Ichiro. Our opponent has been pretty much swinging at every pitch if it's even remotely close to the zone. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to my advantage and try and throw some really good pitches. 0-1 to our opponent's Pucci. That's going to be a good slide piece. He's out in front. So 0-2, oh, I'm going to go ahead and back that up with the two seam. And hopefully, we have him guessing the wrong pitch as we miss our spot. We do end up locking him up, but that is going to be a late hit. 0-2 oh, the count. We're going to back it right back up with that slider. He's kind of on it, but thankfully, again, that is his pitcher. Three down. Kutch drives one again to the right side. And I don't know what our opponent's doing. I don't. He wasn't even close. So I guess we get ourselves a triple from McCutcheon, what realistically should have been a single. Frank, that is foul, bro. Every time you see that animation, you already know it's foul. All right, we need to at least drive this runner in. Anything hit to the outfield. And, I mean, I guess I'll take that as absolutely scorched to each row. But with 88 speed from McCutcheon, we get ourselves another run. I'm hoping to get at least two or something. Full count to Ron Jeremy. I'm expecting him to throw me a kind of get me over because he wants this inning to end. And he does just that. And we find ourselves lining out yet again. Oh, when the count, we have been scoring one an inning precisely. And realistically, I would love to be able to finally break down that door. The line drives will fall, and I am confident. We'll, we'll get rewarded soon enough. 2-2 the count. We're going to make sure this time we get that two seam right where we want it. And we do lock him up again, but he does sneak it through another hole. 1-1 one, one the count after that wild pitch, and we throw a fastball over the heart of the plate. You know what? We've been lining out. We'll take that line out right back. Two down. Our opponent has a relatively good eye when it comes to those sliders inside. Better than most. But again, he will chase any pitch that is near the strike zone. Alomar has been and still is my best hitter in my lineup. He's hitting like 430 something as he does smoke it, but it is on the ground for out number one. All right, horn dog, let's get into something. Start this inning off with a bang. Did he do that? Probably not. It's out number two. All right, maybe this is an inning where we don't actually end up scoring anything. As I say that, we do just absolutely launch one into the left center field gap for another line out like i said they will fall eventually and that's what i'm waiting for we're gonna go ahead and start them off with that 01 fastball upstairs blow it by him we're gonna follow that up on the 01 count with the change up low and away i think that should be a good pitch it is a good pitch he's out in front but it does find some grass see if we could get him jammed up again on that two seam inside we get exactly that this time his late hit does not find a hold that's one down you know what i'm gonna go right back to each row and attack him with that fastball right over the heart of the plate and thankfully he missed that man that was such a terrible pitch third time's the charm we're gonna go in and do it all over again two seam he locked up again that's three outs we got to be using that fastball more because, like I said, I am noticing he is late. Grinky needs to get us another hit. Start off this inning with a bang. Oh, my God. Ah, anybody else other than Grinky, that's a home run. Something's got to fall. At this point, something has to find some grass. Is that just going to be another deep flout, or is that gone from Tony Gwynn? That is gone from Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn almost robbed it as well. We are now up 4-1. to one. Coochie gets into that one. I think that is gone as well, or is that dying at the wall? Please don't die at the wall. Oh, my God, man. All right, man. We have been absolutely torching Cy Young all game, and it continues, and we are just not finding that hole quite yet. Thankfully, though, the one card I didn't expect to go yard with, Tony Gwynn, did just that for us. Interesting move by our opponent. He's got to know we've been absolutely torching Cy Young, but maybe he's going to keep rolling the dice thinking Cy Young is going to get these lineouts or something. So I, I guess that's why he left him in. All right, we're going to go ahead and get that fastball upstairs. Again, I'm going to abuse the fastball because until he shows me he's going to turn on it, it looks like it's a free pitch every time. 3-2 the count. We're going to see if we could dot that change up, and it looks like a dirty pitch, but he fouls it off. So on 3-2, we're going to go back to something similar. We're going to try this slow curveball slash EFIS pitch, and that is not in a good spot. We give up that base hit. Got to be better than that. All right, we're going to change it up a little bit. He's seen nothing but fastballs, and it's a good thing we changed it up because he was out on his front foot. We get that routine pop fly behind home plate for out number three. Hopefully, this is the inning where things start to fall for us. Come on, Ron. Get into something. That is an absolutely terrible, terrible swing by me. 
If that falls, I'm going to... Oh, my God. And we're going to get a double out of it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All the good squared ups are being out, but that, that's the one that falls. 0-2 the count to Robbie. We fouled off quite a few pitches. We're just trying to stay alive, and we get ourselves... Guess what? Another line out. Thank God I'm winning this game because if I wasn't with the amount of line outs I've been getting, I would be losing my mind. 3 2 the count. We've been absolutely torching Cy Young. We need something to show for it, and that is not going to do it. Absolutely not. Infield pop up. Oh, when the count to Tony Gwynn, we did just get his other batter to ground out into the shift as we get another weak routine pop up on the fastball away for out number two right, we're gonna change it up here oh oh we're gonna go to that slider and that's gonna find a lot of the plate but he's back on our level he's gonna line out pudge please tell me that's at least in the gap right nobody's catching that one we got ourselves at least a lead off double we're gonna go ahead and leave grinky in our opponent hasn't been hitting him well and grinky can hit a little bit but he is gonna weakly fly out to right we need this run to score big time we need that extra base hit and we find ourselves flying slash lining out again to center field all right mccutcheon's two for three on the day with a triple and a double can he come up with that clutch hit to give us a four run lead he is not going to end up doing that. I got impatient, swung at a terrible pitch. It's out number three. This game has been flying by really quick because nobody's really getting rewarded. We are swinging early on in the counts as he's going to bleed that one in for a single with a speedster on first base. I know what to look for. At. Probably on a 1-0 count, he's going. First pitch to Pudge. We're going to go in and lock him up with that two-seam upstairs. Does just that. Hopefully, Willie's got the range. Willie's got the range for out number one. Did our opponent have Frank Thomas on the bench? That is absolutely bananas if that is Signature Series Frank. And considering that, hey, that was Signature Series Frank. How do you have Signature Series Frank on the bench and on your starting lineup is my question. All right, well, it is now a one-run game. The frustrations of my lineups are starting to come up a little bit. Next inning, we need to get rewarded and get these runs. Oh, in the count, we're going to go ahead and throw that curveball inside, and he's going to find a hole for another base hit. We're going to go ahead and throw that four seam in, jam him up again. Again, the common theme here is he's not catching up to that fastball. We still have a one-run lead, but that's not comfortable enough for me in this game. We need to get a couple more. Now that we are now seeing another pitcher, hopefully it was just the curse of Cy Young in the lineouts. And that's going to be a weak fly out to right. So far this inning, no lineouts, just terrible swings. Ron's going to go ahead and ground that one up the middle for out number three. Like I said, we need more than one run. God, we got it. We got to close this out. So our opponent takes out jason giambi for jose bautista which is perfectly fine because what that means is when his pitchers comes up he's not going to have the uh good spots as we float one over the heart of the plate i need to see at least six more of those lineups because that's all we've hit so far this game all right first pitch to tony Gwen. we're gonna go ahead and attack him with that sinker he's on it he's ready to go but frank please beat him to the bag we win the somewhat of a foot race for out number two. Our opponent hasn't really hit Venters well yet. We're going to throw that change up. He's all over it. Depending on who's up next, we might be going to our bullpen. With Ichiro being up and a 1-0 count, we're going to throw that slurve. He tries to bunt it because he knows he's not going to hit lefty-lefty. Amazing. We're going to go ahead and go to the bullpen and hopefully close it out. And we do just that. We're going to be going to the top of the ninth please just give me one more run because i feel like a fluke win is in the mist robbie shoots that one in the gap all right we've had a couple lead off doubles we need this one to mean something full count to mr horns ball we need you to be clutch here and that is gonna be ball four that brings up pudge we need this hit our opponent brings out chapman to face pudge which i find really interesting considering he hits a little bit better on lefties but it's what he's gonna do Pudge is going to smoke it again to center. We are constantly getting runners on and then not getting the hits we need. Or realistically, we're not getting the balls to fall the way we want. Somebody come up clutch, man. We keep squaring it up. Somebody's got to go yard because anything in the field is not going to land. Ball four for Arenado. We need Tony Gwynn and then hopefully McCutcheon right after to be clutch. That is the absolute opposite of clutch. I'm not even going to send him home. All right, if you want to talk about a situation that you want to see, Andrew McCutcheon, bases loaded, two outs. We need to get these extra runs. Will he be able to come through? McCutcheon smokes it. 
And guess what? Again, common theme for this game, nothing but outs. I'm not going to lie. If we end up losing this game, I'm going to be a tad bit salty. This is just like the game I played earlier today that I lost where it's just nothing but line outs. And it, it, it gets really irritating to see it happen again. One, two, the count to Kenny Lofton. I do not want him on the base pass. And he's going to be on the base pass. Not a good start. All right, please tell me you're going to get there, Kutch. We need this out big time. He gets there with the range for out number one. We got to close this out. Go and slice that. That's a terrible pitch. He is all over it, but he gets the line out bug as well for out number two. I know he's going to be going soon because he wants to be in a spot where a base hit's going to score. 2-2 the count. We haven't really thrown a fastball up in the zone. Let's see if he chases. He wanted it. He absolutely wanted it. 3-2. Obviously, runner's going to be in motion. That's going to be ball four. 2-2, two, two, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We end up losing it on a terrible pitch. And like I said, unfortunately, that game, I just felt like I was going to lose the whole time. You can't help but just feel that way when every single thing you hit's a line out. Terrible way to lose, obviously. I left a terrible pitch right over the heart of the plate. I knew what my opponent wanted. Probably should have just went to the circle change instead of trying to throw a perfect cutter. But it is what it is. But what I will say is from this graph that you are seeing right now and what you got to see through the gameplay, nothing but lineouts on my end. Uh, I think his runs for the most part were well deserved. So I have nothing to complain about there. However, we deserved well more than four runs and well more than nine hits. I guess that's the beauty of baseball. Even though you can't outplay your opponent, they can still win. It's just depending where the coin or the ball ends up rolling. Um, we were two for five with McCutcheon today, a triple and a double. And again, I will say great card, highly recommend them. Their prices are now 100K. I would go after them. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a good day. Thank you.